there's some really bizarre stuff happening in South Africa. And it's not just weather-wise and nature-wise and all of that kind of stuff. This is specifically bizarre human stuff that's happening. So, apparently what people are doing during um, protests is that they will blockade public roads and then if there is an, um, an ambulance driver or a paramedic or someone who's trying to travel through the area, they will get like kind of force them to stop and then try and kill them which you know it's that's kind of weird that you try and kill someone who's dedicated their lives to saving lives to working terrible hours to um, seeing horrible things and 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 wanting to kill them and uh, a lot of EMTs are now actually arming themselves. They're getting um, self-defense weapons because this is happening so much. So this is a, a, a very good example of how extreme human behavior comes or becomes uh, when when society is set up in such a way where inequality is so extreme, where poverty is so extreme, where we don't get the help that we need. And those people who are living in the most extreme conditions who don't get access to things because they don't have uh, the funds to pay for these things, they're taking it out on everything around them. If it means that they're burning tires and, and logs and um, cutting down electrical poles and light poles to protest... Uh, lack of service delivery then that's what they end up doing and I think that most people if if I was brought up in those conditions if I was born in those conditions if I was barely able to read if I was barely literate if I had limited exposure to the world if I hadn't read as many books as I've read if I hadn't um, delved into as many philosophies of, as I've delved, delved into if I didn't understand how economics work the way that I do now I'd probably also be mad enough to just kind of go batshit and to just um, break things to uh, be angry all the time and take that out on everything around me alcoholism is a huge issue because it's the only way that people feel uh, some form of release and it's a cheap drug compared to other drugs at least so we're living in times where we can see blatantly the consequences of our collective actions the consequences of how we value each other of how we treat each other that's uh, represented by the world system people are going crazy People are losing their minds. People are doing crazy stuff because, in a way, they're driven to it. They have so much resentment and anger and fury and all of these emotions built up within them. They have no way of dealing with them because they've been provided with no support to deal with it that they just go batshit. And yes, some don't. Some find out a way to cope with it but not everyone has that um, not everyone takes that path and that you can't blame them for that people are in terrible conditions and they're trying to cope and yes a lot of people don't cope well so let's learn from these examples and find a way to improve the quality of life for everyone rather than uh, pointing fingers rather than judging them rather than calling them names let's focus on solutions let's focus on how can we practice valuing each other how can we practice giving to each other the things that we would like to have and how can we practice changing our view of how things should be and what is acceptable and not acceptable thank you very much for watching you're going to see me next time